My name's Carter Anderson. My name's Jason Anderson. Today we will be discovering the percent of composition of oxygen in potassium chloride. So, first, we're going to place a small scoop of manganese 4 oxide into the crucible. The crucible. small scoop is going to be approximately the shape of a marble. And it says in an inch. Note that the manganese 4 oxide is the black powder. The black yeah. powder. The white stuff is potassium. It's going to act as a catalyst right in the experiment once the potassium chloride is heated this up. And you're going to place it on the scale. And then record your results. You got that? Mm -hmm. Don't drop it. Next, you're going to take the potassium chloride and you're going to take another small scoop. That's right, Dakota. And mix it in with it. What's the new mass? And then record your mass. We do this because once the reaction takes place, all the oxygen will have went off into the air and won't no longer be part of the potassium chlorate. We're measuring this now so we can subtract the uh, the value of what's left from what's what we measured here, and we'll find out how much potassium how much oxygen is in potassium chlorate. Very good. I feel like you're really close to my face right now. Nope. Okay. Now, we're going to take the crucible and the crucible cover, and we're going to heat it for 15 minutes. Careful, Dakota. That's hot. With this Boston burner, you're going to have to make it. So as we start it, you're going to get a blue flame, an inner blue flame, and an outer blue flame. The inner blue flame is going to be approximately an inch, and we're going to start it right now. I can hear the gas flowing. That means I should start it. Make sure it really scratches that. Working on it. There you go. Almost. <laughs> Dakota's gonna take over. <laughs> Dakota, let's go fast. Let's go fast. We're gonna stop and clear up the gas so there's not an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> that would uh break the camera. Yeah. Give it a couple practice ones, Dakota. Push it, push it. Real good. Here, let me try this. Here, someone take the camera. Uh, Push it real good. We're having issues. Yeah, here, Jace, take the camera. Okay. See, you just oh. gotta push it real good. You gotta push you it, push it in real good. Push it really hard. There you go. Okay, so it's, there's that. a lot of pressure that you have to put on it. A ridiculous amount of pressure. Let's turn on the gas. Ready? Alright, you ready? You hear that? Okay, so maybe you didn't hear this, but you have to put a ridiculous amount of pressure on it. You gotta okay. push it. Push it real good. There you go. Then you get a spark like that. So you, you gotta, gotta do it like over the Bunsen burner, Almost Connor. downwards. Like, Fast. Like an eagle. Okay, hold on. Oh, almost got one. Jeez, this is really hard. Okay, there. Almost, come on. We're gonna blow up with the amount of gas in here. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, to go to you got. Okay, hold on. Let's clear up the gas in, because we're probably gonna... I think we should take someone else's igniter. No, no, we got this. It works. This is probably the hardest part of the experiment, folks. This is gonna be like 15 minutes. It probably gets still needed, folks. Yeah, I mean you're you're gonna watch like two minutes of us trying to light this. So okay, yeah, th there we go. There's 30 seconds of the gas not even being on. So Connor, I don't care about film. This is a film class. Okay. Okay, let's. Oh, yeah, right, what a beast! So you'll see the inner flame. You show flame how they control the Dakota. The flame. So you can see the inner flame. Down here, you're gonna control the gas flow. So Where? As you move it, Let me see. This little knob right on the bottom. Okay, there you go. As you move it, the flame will either shrink or it'll grow bigger as it allows more flame. gas to flow. Where do you control the oxygen flow, Dakota? The oxygen flow is right in here. You're That's correct. This way. And what is the ideal flame. flame for this experiment? The ideal flame is going to have the inner, this inner blue flame right Don't here. Don't touch the flame, Dakota. Days. I will not touch the flame, Jace. <laughs> that looks perfect. We're going to place a crucible perfect. on the clay. Triangle. Triangle. Just like that. And you're going to need it so it just gets the bottom of it. I'm going to have to adjust a little bit. You bet you do. While you're doing that, I'm going to look at the time so we'll know what time. Okay, so just before 1.30, we'll uh, be back. See you then. See you then. And we're back after more like five, ten-ish minutes. It's ready.
Yeah, a lot of waiting. All right. First, so, we're gonna turn off the Bunsen burner. Yep, yeah, because that's a hazard if you're. And the Bunsen burner is rather hot. Yeah. Yeah, so, the flame is hot. Yeah. Um, we're gonna take that off. Okay, so we're gonna take off this top of the crucible here. And you How do you grab it, Connor? How do you grab it, Connor? You grab it perpendicular. Dang right. Here, I'll show you again. Like this. That little tab there. Yeah, that's what you want to grab. So, very well done. Alright, so if you look in there, you can see, you know, it's looking pretty cool. Ooh, it's looking hot. Yeah, it's frightening very hot. So, then, um, I guess we're just going to let it cool for a little bit, right? Yep, you have to take it off. That's a take it off. Superb plan. You have to take it off the clay triangle. Okay, yeah. Today, Connor. Yeah, okay, so what you want to do is grab it by just one side, like that. And we're set it right on the table. That makes flat out perfect sense. Don't spill it, please. Oh, mm, mm. You don't want to touch it. You need to make sure yeah. it cools let it, off. Let it cool for you know, a good minute. Now we're so. going to let it cool for a while. So, um... Alright, so it's been a couple of minutes. We let this cool. Now we're going to measure the mass. So we're going to grab it again by just one edge like that. Bring it over. Place it on the scale. Got a firm grip on that. Yeah, make sure that it doesn't fall. Grip it really good. Alright. 15.55 grams. There you have the mass. We can notice that the mass went down from when we last measured it. Dang right it did. Note how uh, we make sure to measure it with the crucible cover off. Yeah, that's because that's how we measured it at the beginning. And throw your results off. We yeah. don't want inconsistencies because they're the worst. This guy knows what's going on. Alright, well all we need to do now is clean up, so thank you for watching. I'm Dakota. I'm Connor. And that's Jace. And I'm Jace. And that's the wrap. That's the wrap.